Yeah, so let's run through and look for some trades real quick. Let's see what we can find here. As we get a dink. Alright, the bell is open. The market is spoken. Waste is down a good 5%. Um, you know, thanks to my man, Renz, in the chat, telling us that the uh, news about it being delisted from was it Upbit and Bitthumb. So, that's why, you know, I had this nice drop to it, but... Right now, it looks like a good time to long. You know, you have this huge downside. It is making some higher highs here. Um, and we are to swing low. So this is a pretty good long here at this low right now with a you know fairly tight stop loss because this is a high potential gain, low risk trade here. Meaning that you can enter now at nearly the bottom with a stop loss that's just below the previous low. Because if you break this low, you know, you're looking at breaking structure right so you could long anywhere in here and if you break below this you know then you're going to go to the downside but right now it has bullish structure so you know longing here with a stop loss that's literally so close you know um so that's a very you know low risk play potential high reward play right there uh, longing waves here and again you know i'm starting at the ones that have the biggest losses because uh, those are the ones you really want to be longing right the ones that have that were the biggest losers right these are the ones with the most upside to them adam continue downside unfortunately and it's wicked out all the buy orders down here so it's kind of tough to find a good trade setup for it cello who makes good blockchain socks asked my man rico about that um cello's come down quite a bit to this level here um yeah i would look for long on this actually i would look for long here soon you know, this thing's had some time to come down and cool off, right? Yeah, I would look for a long somewhere somewhere above this level. So, let me draw um, a box in here. So, I'd look for a long somewhere in this area right here. And that's a pretty big area, but it really depends on your time frame and what you're looking at here. Okay, so I'd look for a long somewhere in here. Somewhere above five, six, seven, eight. If you lose this level, I mean, get out, right? I would not hold along anywhere below five, six, six. I mean, you know, sell's cooled off quite a bit. I would look for something like that for this coin. Perp. I don't know what this coin is. This coin doesn't even look natural. Actually, it does look like a good crypto. A GLD had. Tremendous upside today. Now this coin looks like Wix. There's another AGLD just called Gold. I think that one's called Adventurer Gold. It was called Adventure Gold, and that one's called Adventurer Gold. Or as DVX would call it, Acapulco Gold. This is just a classic shitcoin pattern, you know? Woo. So, Woo is a great short. <laughs> I mean, look at this. It had its pump up, you know, and now it's coming down. It's a bit late to be shorting it, though. Because right now it kind of looks like a bull flag or something, you know. I'd wait for it to come back up. Retest, one, two, four, and then and then dump. Right now it's at support, so I wouldn't be shorting at support. I'd wait for it to come back up, hit the next resistance up, and then come back down. But this thing's coming down. Snacks. So we talked about this one the other day. Can't remember what we said about it. Don't remember what we said about this thing. Really go back and look at the tape. But we, yeah, we talked about this one yesterday. And wow, look at that. It is dumping hard. I'm going to have to go back and review the footage. Review the tape. Kava, we said it was a good long yesterday. Somewhere down here. That's all I remember because... It was still making, it still is making higher highs and higher lows. I think it was like just down here when we were talking about it last in this range. So it still has good structure. Axie, short it. The classic shitcoin pattern. Wrote this. Ocean. Now, <coughs> I know waves is always perpetually strong, you know. And water's so common, right? 
So, ocean. Guys, I was doing TA on ocean up here. I was always so bullish on ocean, waves, and sand. And this coin's literally going to zero. It's not already there. I can't do that. Yeah, I'm in the ocean, it brings a tear to my eye. Or some water to my eye. Um, people, you know, I'm pretty bullish on this coin generally, but this is a rising wedge right here. I would, I'd wait for it to come down and catch a wick somewhere. It's going to catch a body, you know, where would be a good long. You know, I don't expect this thing to just fall off the face of the earth because it's had some nice bullish, you know, gains up in this area. So I wouldn't expect it to just fall off the face of the earth in like one second here. Um, but if we do look at the volume profile for this, right, I would still look at this POC right here. This is a great level. 231, 232, right in here. 232. Sushi potentially has a swing bottom right now. This looks like a good long. You know, depending on Bitcoin, right? I was making, making higher highs, higher lows. This looks like a good swing bottom right here. You know, if you drop below 108, I'd be careful longing this thing. There's definitely some volume in this area. EMT, rough. Stay away. Flow is a perma short. I mean, <laughs> this is a perma short right here. Look at this. It just keeps going, right? Like Filecoin, it just keeps going. You, you could think it just keeps going up, right? Well, yeah, it does. It just keeps going up. <laughs> but yeah, flow is a perma short. Literally, I mean, I would short this up here, 1099, and this is a, this is um when you short something like this, oh, we talked about longing here at 102, I think this was the money printer long, the psych level, yeah, look at that wick, I think this was a long that we talked about. Yeah, well, you worked the long here, so you'd be up in profits already, but... Otherwise, I, I would do a, a very low leverage short, you know, like a 3x and just leave it because, you know, you know that the overall trend of this is going to be going down, right? You know, overall it's going down, but this thing might have some, you know, short term volatility that kind of takes you out of the trade. So don't let that happen, right? So I would be targeting this with a low leverage and just, you know, something long term 3x and then forget about it, you know, leave it there collect it you know when you need your you know send your kid off to college what if he looks like it's probably forming a rising wedge here i don't know i'm gonna avoid this one though you know is also a perma short uh but this chart has terrible data on it so it's really hard to trade KDA. Oh man, I, I hate looking at this chart because I always forget that we marked the boob zone and we forgot about it. KSM always looks rough. Chilies. We talked about this coming back down and retesting this area again. Looks like that's actually what it did. 146, right? This is the prior POC here. After that, this next level is going to be this previous range POC right at 105, 106. Val, I mean, what what is this? I don't know what that is. Whatever. So those are like the biggest losers of today. Let's look at some of the biggest gainers. So XCN, short this. This is free money, guys. Okay, and girls, short this. 3x, short. Leave it in. Okay. It's nearly at resistance right now. And actually looks quite bullish still. Actually looks quite bullish. So I would target the next resistance up. I would target like this one where this weekly POC is, this previous one. I'd be targeting this like 4-1, okay? And I would just do a 3x short and I would leave this, okay? This is just free money all over it, okay? 
But don't do high leverage. <laughs> oh, that got me good, Beardy. That got me good. There's a few things that make me laugh, like from my from my stomach, you know. That got me good. Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that, okay? Because that's like a good one to go back on. I'm gonna remember it. So like when I'm at work tomorrow, I, you know, I'll just start laughing in my head. It's a good one to go back to. Uh, Beardy says, "I just looked at my MACD and realized Gala is a great permalong." Yes, that's that's a good point. That's what I was laughing at. Genius. That's so good. All right. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's a good one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, Bitcoin's gonna see some possibly some upside here. Still looks bullish. One point one million buy. SOS, please help. <laughs> what is this chart? The force. Seismograph. I don't know what that is. BSV. This chart. Never looks good. Much more bearish than uh, Bitcoin, right? Um, yeah, I'd look for a short of this prior weekly POC 47.2. Filecoin, the perma short. Don't tell me this thing, you know, BitBoy raves about this coin, have some upside. I don't know. I mean, this, it's almost unfair doing TA on this because, you know, you could just draw a line going down and you're going to be right eventually <laughs> on this coin. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this thing's going down. Look for a short at a lower high, like 4.6, which was the prior weekly. You know, somewhere like this, yeah, four six would be great. Four four five seven. You know, if Bitcoin has some upside here, four five seven. Yeah. Let's do the zoom out on a uh, file just so you guys can see just how great it looks. When you say a coin just keeps going up, this is one of them, okay? This is the OG of keeps going up. Alright, so let's zoom out here. I'm on the four hour. Okay. So we'll just keep zooming out, right? And you're like, wow, how high does this thing go? You know, it just keeps going, right? Wow, it looks great. You know, keeps going. 430 is what it started at. Now it's at four. Almost back down to 430 again. 4.3. <laughs> wow, how to, how to make a decimal place disappear. Remove a decimal place over two. Buy some file coin. Gala unlimited supply like SLP keeps getting dumped. Yeah, the metaverse coins are all terrible. I'm shocked Cartesi still has some upside. I think it was all that conference that uh, Rico went to. He was a Cartesi max maxi there. He met the uh, Cartesi Satoshi there. Luna unlock. Yeah, making lower lows still. Lena. Same thing. You know. All these just look like great shorts, you know. They just had some temporary upside to them. I just don't see anything looks different in any of these. Ren's eventually going to come back down to this range over here. It's almost here already, actually. 7-7. Seven, seven. I almost said 7-7-7-7. Seven, 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 seven. No, it's going to come back down to 7-7 seven, seven here. Anchor actually looks okay. We can get it down here again at like 517 somewhere in here. Yeah, I mean, it's about to come back down. You know, lower high, rising wedge here. I'd wait for it to come back down. I mean, I wouldn't trade this coin anyway because this thing, you know, just has these spikes, right? I would literally just put a, sh a short in somewhere up here and just leave it. 
and uh you know wake up one morning to see that you know you're in profits mirror same thing this is the same as the other one right just put a shorter in up here and wait for it Cortezzi that's chilled by BitBoy several times, several times pumped and dumped. Yeah, I mean. We talked about BitBoy last night, but here I'll pull up the BitBoy performance uh, picture here. These are all the pro projects that BitBoy uh, chills. And this um, year to date was before the Bitcoin crash. Yeah, I mean, he's <coughs> was one of the biggest shitheads. Somebody posted on uh, Twitter his, his asking rates. Of, um, you know, to do different shillings and stuff. How much he charges for which, you know. I yeah, probably just got demonetized again. He's a shithead. Fuck that guy. Alright, near. Yeah, I would avoid the metaverse coins. They all don't look great. And any coins that start with G and H don't look great either. <laughs> Wi Fi is probably going to start, start gonna come down soon. Yeah, it looks okay, actually. Wi Fi looks pretty good here. We got pretty safe long here. Some nice, slow, steady gains here, you know? It looks pretty good, actually. All right, I think that's it. I mean, I think we've gone through a majority of the coins here. Nothing really stands out as super different. Um, just the ones that we talked about here. AVAX looks interesting. I think, we, I think we talked about it coming down to this POC here. I think that's what we talked about the key level was. It's POC right here. I think that was yesterday or the day before. It was yesterday because I remember drawing this and they matched up together. Yeah, I do remember that. And then we talked about otherwise it would, it would have been the VAL. Here at 12.6, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I got to get to bed. I've got an early um, work morning and stuff. I'll try to get these videos up uh, like right now. Um, yeah, I gotta, um, I'm just going to find the most random image online and just make it use as a thumbnail with no context, really. Hey, what's up here? Hey, but thanks, everyone, for hanging out. I appreciate you guys. Um, Hop in the Discord, say hi if you're not already in the Discord. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, thanks everyone who posts regularly in the Discord. I really appreciate you guys. Um, and then, yeah, you guys all have a good day, good night, wherever you're at. Be safe. And um, I'll uh, catch you guys uh, next time. See ya. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.